Good morning, young yogis everywhere. Elon is gonna ring the chime for us to get us focused this morning to get ready to do some yoga. Elon, can you ring, ring it again? Remember, raise your hand when you hear the chime. And keep your hand up for as long as you hear it. And when you can't hear it anymore, go ahead and put your hand down. That's a great way to get us focused and ready before we start our yoga practice. You want to give us one more chime? Great job. Go ahead and put that chime down. We're going to learn a warrior two pose today, but before we start that, there's the yoga for classrooms warrior two card that Isabella is holding. Before we start that, let's take three balloon breaths together. And Ari and Nolan are gonna guide us through a couple of balloon breaths. If you don't have a magical breathing ball at home, like that big one that Ari has, you can have an imaginary one and use your arms. Good job. All right, can we do three really slow, keep it closed, and then breathe in through your nose and make it really big, and then out through your mouth. Can you guys do it with the imaginary one and pretend that you have one? In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Do one more together, nice and slow. Awesome, good job. I think we are ready to learn the warrior two pose. Notice your heart and notice your breath right now. Just notice how you feel. And then stand in mountain pose. And we're gonna do warrior two together. So very slowly bring your feet together, bring your hands to your side. And in warrior two, you're gonna pick one foot and step one foot forward. The other foot is behind you. Your front toe is pointing forward. And I want you to slowly shift your back foot so it's pointing sideways. See how front foot is forward, back toe points sideways. Your front leg is bent a little bit and your back leg is straight. And then slowly lift your arms up. One arm is pointing forward, the other one is back and your arms are up tall and strong and straight. You can imagine that there's a string on one fingertip pulling your arm forward and on the other fingertip gently pulling your arm backwards. So your arms are tall and straight. Your focus or your gaze, that's where your eyes are, is right down your front fingertips. So your eyes are pointing down so you can see right down your front fingertips. And your body is tall and still. Look how still these yogis are. They're not wobbly, but I bet there are places they can feel it in their body right now. Yogis, where do you feel this pose in your body? My legs. In your legs. And my arms. And in your arms and in your shoulders right now, right? If you get tired, you can always gently bring your body back to mountain pose. And you can rest your body here and recover. Notice the difference. How does your body feel when you bring it back into mountain pose? Uh, still. Still? Do you feel your muscles resting a little bit where they were tired? Yes. In mountain pose? All right. So really good, strong yogis practice balance, which means you have to do every pose on both sides. So we're gonna walk you through warrior two one more time on the other side. So take the opposite foot and put it forward. And the other foot is back. So notice now the one, the front leg is bent, the other leg is back and look how those toes point in an opposite direction, right? And then your arms come straight up, nice and slow and controlled. Look how still and calm all of these yogis bodies are. Put your arm, can you put that back arm straight up, Elon? Perfect, beautiful. 
and your eyes are gazing down the front of your fingertips, you can even lean your body towards that front arm. When you do that, notice that puts a little more pressure on that front leg muscle. Did you notice that when you shifted your body? You feel that more in your front leg? And that is a nice, strong warrior two pose. Gently bring your bodies back to mountain pose. Relax, recover. You can take a couple of balloon breaths in through your nose. <sighs> Out through your mouth. Your at-home challenge, yogis, is to gather all your brothers and sisters, anybody that's at home with you during this time when we're not in school, and try to teach them warrior two and see who can hold the warrior two pose the longest in your family. Enjoy, namaste.